We're going to use this simulation called States of Matter Basics to have a look at uh, solids, liquids, and gases from the point of view of the particle model. We can see here we have neon in the solid phase. And in the solid phase, the particles are vibrating, but they don't move with respect to each other. Uh, when the particles are close like this and have such low energy, they have a fairly strong force of attraction to each other. As a result, a solid has a very definite shape and it has a very definite volume. If we have a look at the liquid now, we can see that the particles are be beginning to move more quickly. And in fact, they will slide over each other. Not very far, but just, just a little bit. Um, every once in a while you'll also notice that a particle escapes from the surface into the gas phase and particles can even be recaptured into the liquid phase itself. But still, the liquid, generally the particles stick fairly close together and as a result liquids have a definite volume but they don't have a definite shape. It can change because the particles can slide over each other. If we have a look at the gas, we can see now that the particles are moving much more quickly. And uh, essentially, we assume that in gases, the particles have absolutely nothing to do with each other, uh, they, except perhaps for colliding into each other. So the particles are colliding with other particles and with the walls of the container. Notice the gas fills the total volume of the container and will also take the shape of the container. So gases do not have a definite volume, nor do they have a definite shape. Well, let's see what happens if we look at water instead of neon. Because the water molecule consists of uh, hydrogen and oxygen, the red and the white, we can see that the molecules of water now are spinning and rotating. So they're colliding in with each other, moving from place to place, spinning and rotating, and the uh, hydrogen and oxygen atoms would also be vibrating with respect to each other within a molecule. But this is still a pretty typical picture of a gas. The particles are colliding with each other with the walls of the container, filling the full volume of the container and taking the shape of the container. If we have a look at liquid, there we go. Um, this is a pretty typical picture of a liquid. You might notice, however, that um, the water molecules are interacting with each other in a, a different way from the way in which neon did. And uh, if you're a biology student, um, and you'll take this later on in the chemistry course, but if you're a biology student, you know that water has a positive end, the hydrogen, and a negative end, the oxygen. And these positive and negative ends tend to attract each other uh, when they're in the liquid phase. And so you can see that there's more of an orientation of the white part towards the red part in liquid water. But it's still a pretty typical liquid. It has a definite volume, but it doesn't have a definite shape. If we now look at water in the solid phase, the picture is quite a bit different here than it was with the neon. And the reason it's different is because the positive ends of one water molecule are attracted towards the negative ends of the other water molecule. Uh, what that means is that, remember in the solid with neon, the particles were nice and highly organized. With water, now the particles are uh, spread out a little bit. Notice there are spaces in between some of the water molecules. As a result of uh, these spaces, ice occupies a larger volume than it did in, in the solid phase than it did in the liquid phase, which means that ice is less dense than water and for that reason will float on the surface of water. Once again, argon in the solid phase, typical solid, definite shape, definite volume. In the liquid phase, now the particles are moving more and they're sliding slowly over each other. So liquids do have a definite volume, but they don't have a definite shape. And in the gas phase now, the particles are spread out throughout the container, so gases don't have a definite shape, nor do they have a definite volume.